Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles, the great Muslim, the Ruel, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Back at it with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our elders and apostles, the great Muslim, the Ruel, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Woe to the prophets for hire. Woe unto you hirelings, man. You false prophets, man. All you do is you got paid off and sold out. Okay? You know, all you prophets, you're, you know, you want to adhere to the way of Esau's system. You want to sell out to Esau. Woe unto you. Okay? Woe unto all the false prophets, even the ones who didn't sell out. Okay? Woe unto you all, man. All right? Because you have blood on your hands, man. You have blood on your hands. And your congregation is going to be destroyed along with you. At least you repent. Okay? So, not alone are you, do you have blood in your hands from pushing false narratives. But for those souls that are snared by you, that's extra blood on your hands, man. All right? This is Nehemiah chapter 6 and verse 10. It says, Afterward, I came unto the house of Shemaiah, the son of Deliah, the son of Methetabal, who was shut up. And he said, Let us meet together in the house of the Most High within the temple, and let us shut the doors of the temple, for they will come to slay thee. Yea, and in the night will they come to slay thee. And this was during the time when Nehemiah was rebuilding back up the, um, the temple, if you will. All right. And the heathen nations, they wanted to frustrate the work. In verse 11. And I said, should, should such a man as I flee, who is there that being as I am would go into the temple to save his life? I will not go in. And lo, I perceived that the Most High had not sent him, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me for Tobiah and Sanballat had hired him. So this was a prophet for hire. All right. That they prophesied against uh, Nehemiah. So it was a false prophet. So he said, I perceive the most I didn't send him. This is a prophet for hire. Verse 13. Therefore was he hired that I should be afraid and do so and sin that they might have a matter for an evil report that they might reproach me. My power think upon me. Think of think thou upon Tobiah and Sam Ballot according to these their works and on the prophetess Nodiah. And the rest of the prophets that would have put me in fear. So the wall was finished in the 20 and 5th day of the month Elu in 50 and 2 days. And it came to pass that when all our enemies heard thereof and all the heathen that were about us saw these things, they were much cast down in their own eyes for they perceived that this work was wrought of our power. Yeah, so they saw how the temple got rebuilt and the, the enemies were cast down. You know, they were like, damn. Because they perceived that, hey, this is the will of the Most High, and they couldn't come against it. All right, but nevertheless, it taught the reason why I wanted to get the scriptures because that you know prophets for hire have uh, is not something new. You know, this is an ancient concept, if you will, man. All right, but woe on to these prophets for hire. Okay, now bear with me, Bob Shah. Let's go ahead and get um Salakia. Book of Micah, and the Lord said, Woe well, unto the prophets that have seen things on their own, and I have not spoken unto them, man. You know, and that's what these a lot of these dudes are saying. They're telling you to take Maxine, they're telling you. To the, the, the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast Hey, they're speaking out of their own heart, man They're not speaking according to the true doctrine of Yahweh Shemel Shai Because if they were, they would be saying the truth So the Lord said here in these last days that he would give us um, Pastors that would feed us wisdom and knowledge according to the Lord's heart, man All right, not according to their own heart This is Micah 3 and 11 The heads thereof judge I'll start at first, um Micah 3 and 8. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment, and of might, to declare unto Jacob's transgression to Israel his sin. Yeah, these are for, that's for the men of the Lord. 
His here it says, Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob. Yeah, so you so called elders, right? You you prophets, you you know, you uh bishops, right? Okay, generals. It says, and princes of the house of Israel that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. Yeah, so you're in a leadership position, but you abhor judgment and you pervert equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. Okay, Gavin, that blood on your hands. It says, the heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Yeah, you truly think the Lord is dealing with you, man. Okay, you truly think the Lord is dealing with you, man. You know, but the Lord is not dealing with you. Okay, the Lord, the Lord is not dealing with you, uh, with you, um... False prophets, man. The scriptures say that uh, basically, you know, bloody man, that the Lord doesn't uh, deal with a bloody man. And the scriptures say how you build up Jerusalem with blood. Okay. Psalms 5 and 6, it says, Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. So the Lord abhors you false prophets, man. Okay. This is uh, Ezekiel 22 and verse 24. Son of man, say unto her, thou art the land that is not cleansed nor rained upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law. And I profane my holy things. Yeah, for, for you false prophets in and outside of the truth. Okay, because you have men who know their Israel, but yet they're still false prophets. And you have men who probably do know their Israel, but they don't push the fact that they're Israel. And they're still prof false prophets. Okay. It says, neither have they shewed difference between the unclean and the clean. Yeah, yo, yeah, you could eat everything. You know, the laws are done away with. The Lord's not dealing with you, man. Okay. And for those of you who make your boast in the law, yet you're a hypocrite, okay? The Lord isn't dealing with you either. Neither have they shoot difference between the clean and the unclean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profaned among them. Yeah, you got false prophets out here saying that you can have sex on the Sabbath, man. All right? <laughs> that's, that's hiding your eyes from the Lord's Sabbath, man. Her princes in the midst thereof are like the wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Okay, right. All right, that's the point on there right there. All right, and her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar. Yeah, untempered mortar. So basically, it's like you're building a, a, a house that's not on a steady foundation. Okay, so it's going to fall down when that tribulation comes, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them. Thus saith the Lord, when the Lord hath not spoken. Yeah, you're saying, thus saith the Lord, you saying, oh, the Lord is with us, you know, but the Lord didn't speak those words that y'all speaking. So how are you going to say that the Lord is with you, man? All right. Just like going back to Micah 3 and 11, where it says, the heads thereof judge for reward and the priests teach thereof for hire and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money. You know, you send out that tithe bull. OK, and also you other Israelite false prophets, man, you, you all are all about merchandise, you know, all about trying to make a buck off your congregation, man, because you got guys like that even in Israel. All right. It says, yeah, well, they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Yeah. Going back to Ezekiel 22 and um, verse 28. OK. Now, through the spirit, I'm going to go get this next precept. Go to um, John. Bear with me, Bob Kishaw. John chapter 10, starting at verse 12. But he that is in hireling, I'll start at verse 11. John 10 and 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. All right. But he that is in hireling. 
And not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not. See if the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. Okay, right. So you devils are hirelings. You've been hired to do your job. You've been hired to prophesy into the nation of Israel. You truly don't care about Israel, man. You're only doing this work, if you will, for money. Okay. So for the prophets, you know, or the high prophets for reward. Okay. You're going to be destroyed, man. All right. That's why when you read Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, the Lord goes deep into it, man. Okay. And you can really start from the top with it. All right. Because the Yahushua said, if you love me, feed my sheep, man. You know, and you don't love the Lord. Okay. So therefore, you, since you don't love the Lord, you're going to be destroyed. It's Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, save the Lord. Yeah. So he said, feed his sheep, not destroy and scatter them. All right. And Yahushua said, he that is with me gathereth and that you know he, he either you're with him and you gathering or you're scattering abroad you know and you're against him rough paraphrasing jeremiah 23 and 2 therefore thus saith the lord you have a power of israel against the pastors that feed my people ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them behold i will visit you upon the evil of your doing saith the lord so the lord says he's going to visit your evil man He's going to judge you, man, because you're over here leading your congregation astray. You're telling them to take Maxine. You're telling them to take the chip. OK, you're telling them all types of false doctrines. The Lord is going to destroy you for that, man. Verse three. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them and I will bring them again into their folds and they shall be fruitful and, and increase. Yeah. Like the Lord said, um, you know, basically he's going to gather his elect from the four corners, man. All right. So like you bear with me. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them and they shall fear them. No, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Yeah. OK. Verse five. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. A king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Yeah. And that's our Lord. Yahweh Shai. In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the and this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord, our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, they that shall they shall say no more. The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up the which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country out of America and from all countries whither I had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land okay verse 9 mine and that's a future prophecy verse 9 my heart within me is broken because of the prophets on my bones shake I am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine hath overcome because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness for the land is full of adulterers for because of swearing the land mourneth the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up and their course is evil and their force is not right for both prophet and priest are profane. Yet in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. All right. Yeah. So here, it, even in the Lord's house, he found their wickedness, man. Here it is. You talking about you're an Israelite, but you're we're basically, uh, you know, a Christian in garments. OK, you know, and I'm talking about the uh, modern day Christianity, if you will. Okay. In plantation Christianity. It says verse twelve, wherefore their ways shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness, they shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. So the Lord is gonna visit you, false prophets. Say he's gonna bring evil upon you. Verse twenty three. I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria, they prophesied in Baal, and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. And what did the Lord do unto Sodom and Gomorrah? He destroyed them with fire and brimstone. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets. Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. From the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. And wormwood, all right, is symbolic of that radiation as well. But when you actually get wormwood, the literal substance, okay, wormwood can be poisonous, man. So Lord said he's going to poison you devils, man. <laughs> he's going to destroy you.
All right, verse 16, thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain, they speak a vain, they speak a vision out of their own of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They stay they say still unto them that despise me. The Lord hath said, Ye shall have peace, and they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. Yeah, that's false prophecy, man. All right, they don't want to tell the people the nitty and the gritty of the scriptures. And that's not true love because the scriptures say, Thou shalt not hate thy neighbor in the heart. Thou shalt anywise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So if you truly love Israel, you truly love the flock, you would warn them of their wicked ways like the scriptures tell us to do. Warn them that are unruly. Verse 18, For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, which is those missiles and the chariots. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Yeah, those missiles is going to fall upon the, the land of Babylon. All right. It says the anger of the Lord shall not return until you have executed it, until you have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. And here we are in the latter days, considering it perfectly. Verse 21, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Yeah, you trying to act like the Lord is dealing with you, but the Lord said it. I ain't sending you niggas. You know, he didn't inspire you with his righteous spirit is pretty much what the scripture is saying, you know. But you are set up to be false prophets. Verse 22. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Yeah, if you truly were a real prophet, you would turn the flock back from their evil ways. You would be able to warn the flock, you know. But nevertheless, you're not able to do so because you're false prophets. And the Lord is going to destroy you for that. At least you repent. All right. But and the times we're coming into, man, that door of mercy is closing. You know, that's why it's important to stay on top of your game spiritually. Verse 23, am I a power at hand, saith the Lord, and not a power far off? Can any man hide himself in secret places I shall not that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I feel heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesied lies? Yet they are prophets of, this, of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams. Woo! And you prophets, man, that's why you don't be calling on the names of Yahweh Shemeshai. Who you be calling on, man? The C word, the J word. You know, and you know the names too. Okay? But yet you try to cause the, them to forget the Lord's name, man. You got a lot of Jakes who, who are snared by you false prophets, thinking that the Hebrew is not important, thinking that the Lord's true name is important. Hey, man, you're you snaring the Lord's people, okay? And the Lord is going to re recompense you for that. All right? It says, how long, verse 26, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yeah, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as the fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. So it's basically like you're serving another God, man. All right. You know, and the Lord is a jealous power. So he's going to visit you upon that, man. OK, and it goes deeper into that when you read the whole chapter, you know, but nevertheless, all right. You you know, if you don't repent, the Lord is going to destroy you. OK, the Lord is going to destroy you. Let's actually go ahead and. and um, verse, I'm going to keep reading. Verse 28, the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my and is not my word like a fire, as the Lord saith the Lord, like as a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. All right. So the Lord says his word is like a fire, man. All right. It says, Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Lord, that steal my word, every one from his neighbor. Okay. It says, Behold, I am against the prophets. Saith the Lord that use their tongues and say, he saith, yeah, you try to act like the Lord is dealing with you. The Lord is the one who's inspiring you. But really, you know, you've been delivered unto Satan. OK, but you think that the Lord is truly dealing with you, man. You know, yet you over there, uh, uh, you know, you got these prophets, false prophets over here doing all types of folly behind closed doors. OK, 
So the Lord said he's against you false prophets, man. Behold, I'm against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues he, and say he said. Verse 32, behold, I'm against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them and cause. That's like you and cause Lord, my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not nor commanded them therefore they shall not profit this people at all saith the lord yes yeah, so all for these people who want to follow after these false prophets you're going to be destroyed it's not going to profit you you know because you do you, you're adhering to lies man and a lot of you and a lot of the congregation of these false prophets they know better they've heard the warning too you know but they're just so caught up in that uh that enchantment if you will all right it's um Behold, it's like, yeah. verse 33, and when this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask thee, saying, what is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt say unto them, what burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that shall say the burden of the Lord, I will punish that man in his house. Thus shall you say everyone to, to his neighbor and everyone to his brother. What hath the Lord answered, and what hath the Lord spoken? And the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living power of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, our power. Thus shall thou say to the prophets, What hath the Lord answered thee, and what hath the Lord spoken? But sith ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord, because ye say, because you say this word, the burden of the Lord, and I have sent. And I have sent unto you, saying, Ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will even utterly forget you, and will forsake you in the city that I gave you and your fathers, and cast you under my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten, man. Yeah, so that's what's coming to you, false prophets, lest you repent, man. All right, so, you know, for the people out there, man, the times we're coming into, all right, don't take that Maxine. Don't take the chip, which is the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, all right, or the NFC chip, depending on where you're at in the world, because this is all going to lead to the downfall and, you know, your destruction, so to speak, you know, l lest you repent, okay? But um, nevertheless, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Chakadash, double honor to Elves and Apostles, the great Muslim. There were well peace of blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and a Bible ball.